welcome back. And today I'd like to bring you a review of this. This is the 11th cycle by uh, Kieran A. Ardland. Now this is a self pub that came out shortly um, after the new year and I managed to get my hands on it. It is a chunky book. It's 800 plus pages in very large page form. So it is a bit of a um, commitment. Now I wanna go on record first and say that I was surprised um, at how ambitious this was for a self-pub by an author that's only had a couple of uh, goes at writing a novel, um, but it's not a strong recommend from me. Now I'm gonna get into why. Now, Kian, he seems like he is a good wordsmith. He has very purple prose and he, his descriptions are very detailed. Um, his world building is very ambitious. But unfortunately, um, having great vocabulary doesn't make you a master of vocabulary. Now, when he describes scenes like those uh, at Mount Mornair, he, um, sometimes he seems to be struggling. Um, he will throw lots of dense descriptions at you, but you won't necessarily be able to visualize it. And if you're a visual reader like I am, it can be challenging at times. Whereas if I was to think of someone like Robert Jordan, who comes up with very elaborate dream sequences, he his uh, prose seem, feels kind of effortless. And uh, I feel myself building the pictures in my head seamlessly. That can be a challenge here. And there are a few foibles in the way that it is put together. Now it is self-pub and who knows how much time and money can be spent on editing for this but sometimes the chapter breaks aren't, they don't feel like they're in the right place and sometimes there are some typos in here as well. Now, there are some great characters in here, quite gripping characters at times, though those characters don't always feel lived in by the author. So you'll be, you'll be with a character and you'll be thinking, wow, this character's really going through um, some crazy events or maybe you feel yourself starting to uh, empathize with a character, but then something about the character the way they are written, it doesn't feel 3D, it doesn't feel lived in. Um, and I wonder how many of these characters have been lived in the author's own experiences, and maybe um, the characters should have been dialed back a little bit to the author's own um, kind of world or life experience, um, and that would have really helped. Um, I think some of the themes are noble, that they, they try to tackle several really, really big themes, and the one that ultimately came across best was um, kind of, you know, the you know, the kind of concept of being ableist or um, not respecting people of a lesser physical ability as yourself. And that one really felt like it was a theme that was to be delivered um, properly. And unfortunately, even that one fell short in the end, um, which doesn't, you know, props for trying to tackle so many big themes in a book, uh, a self-pub book, um, at the start of a series like Mistland, book one like this is um, but unfortunately it didn't hit like I was hoping it was going to hit in that regard now the plotting in this book can be quite excellent and there are some very very good climactic scenes now I wouldn't say that this was a waste of someone's time despite how long it takes to read because there is a certain amount of payoff in this novel but unfortunately the downtimes in between um, are very inconsistent and the tone is the author loses the tone at times it feels. Um, as an example, um, scenes, love scenes in the book can come across as quite immature and almost they are, you know, as, as a comparison to other parts of the novel, they feel very uh, uneven. Um, it almost feels like reading the back of a, you know, a tabloid newspaper, like a, a Dear Deirdre or something like that. It comes across quite crass and out of place for the characters. And sometimes you'll be really, really kind of uh, invested in a character just for that character um, to die and you feel absolutely nothing about it um, because unfortunately their moments of downtime when you're meant to really delve into their personality, th they just don't come across as well as the bigger um, scenes in the book. Now, it's unfortunately not our page turner, so it will take you a little while, but if you persevere, I think there's enough here as far as the frills, the plotting, uh, the set pieces, that you will enjoy yourself. And I do not think this is a bad book. I think this is maybe an overly ambitious book. And I would actually give this a 3.2 out of five.